U.S. sanctions on Russian military exports have put the brakes on a $6 billion deal with India and may derail the arms purchases of other U.S. allies around Asia, experts say. Under a law that President Donald Trump signed in August, any country trading with Russia's defense and intelligence sectors will face sanctions. The law is designed to punish President Vladimir Putin for the 2014 annexation of Crimea from Ukraine, involvement in the Syrian civil war and meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. But American allies who buy weapons and equipment from Russia, the world's second-largest arms exporter, could suffer as well. Highest-profile example is India, which wants to buy five S-400 long-range surface-to-air missile systems that the country's military sees as a game-changer. The systems are touted as being able to counter the ballistic missiles and stealth aircraft. The deal, which Putin and Prime Minister Narendra Modi struck as part of an intergovernment agreement in 2016, has run headlong into the U.S. sanctions law, two officials in Delhi said. Indonesia and Vietnam also buy weapons from Russia while being regional partners of the U.S. Jakarta closed a $1.14 billion pact for Suhoi fighters recently, while Vietnam is seeking more jet fighter bombers from Russia. And with both Almaz Anti-Air and Space Defense Corporation, which makes the S-400, and Rosso Boring Export, which negotiates Russian export deals, listed as under sanction, those deals have become trickier. The effects of the U.S. sanctions law could be more sweeping than intended, said Kara Abercrombie, a visiting scholar at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace.